Hi, I'm Stephen White and I'm a behavioural researcher at QUT in Brisbane. I'm attempting to run an online social experiment that looks at people's mate choice preferences and how they affect our social matching outcome. If you're single, over 18 years of age and a current student at any Queensland tertiary institution, you're invited to participate. Here are the basics of the experiment. Firstly, before the experiment day, you'll register by doing three things. One, you'll tell us a few things about yourself, your age, your hair colour, eye colour. Two, you'll tell us a few things about your ideal partner, same again, eye colour, hair colour, age. And three, you'll upload a photo of yourself. When you're finished, you'll receive a confirmation email and you're all good to go for the day of the experiment. On the day of the experiment, you can log into the website at any time across a 24 hour period. You'll be asked a short survey before you begin which should only take about 90 seconds. When the experiment begins, you'll be shown a list of all of the other participants' profiles one by one. Each individual person will have their own picture and some demographic characteristics in the same categories as the ones you provided. You'll have the option to go through all of these one by one. You can move freely back and forth through the list. The experiment finishes one of two ways. One, if you see someone you like, you can select them. The experiment is then over for you. Or, you can search through everyone and decide you don't want to select anyone at all and quit. Either way, you can only pick one person. Here's the fun part. From the time that you begin viewing other participants, you'll be timed. I'll explain why this is important in a second. Seven days later, we'll run the experiment again. This time, when you log back in, you'll only be shown the people that selected you in the first stage of the experiment. This might be a hundred people, it might be nobody. Who knows? In this stage, you'll not be able to move through the profiles freely. You will only be shown a profile once. You can either choose that person, and the experiment is then over, or you can move to the next person with the hope that you prefer them more. You cannot go back, and you will not know how many there are until you reach the end. So the reason you'll be timed in the first stage is because it will determine the order that you are shown to people in the second stage. For example, if five people select the same person, the order that person will be shown will be from the person who was quickest choosing them to the person who was the slowest. This means that if it takes you too long to select the person you most prefer in the first stage of the experiment, that person may never actually see you in the second stage. If you take 50 minutes to choose in the first round, you may be 25th on the person's list. They may select number 3 on their list and never see you. So what's the payoff for you? Well, if you make a selection in the first stage and that person in turn selects you in the second stage, we'll consider this a match by both participants and we will forward them your email address and they can contact you at a later date. Finally, when you finish the experiment, you'll be asked to fill in a short post-experiment survey uh, to help us get a better understanding of your experience. That's it. It's a simple little experiment and I hope you can take the time out to participate. You can register now and the experiment will be run for a full 24 hours on the day so it's pretty flexible. Thanks for taking the time to watch my clip and if you'd like more info please check out the participant information at registration or shoot me an email. Thanks very much.